Hello, and today we are here to talk. What's that? Hello, we are here today to talk to you about protecting your hearing. You go to lots of nightclubs, ride bikes back in the day, yeah? Okay, well, I guess you didn't have any of these, right? Sorry, what was that? Let's get serious just for one second here. Hearing is obviously very important, especially as the older we get, because it's gonna go bye-byes anyway, probably. So what you wanna try and do is protect it where you can. And look, not everyone's into earplugs, but most are, and even those that aren't will usually try and sort some kind of earplugs out. But which are the best ones? Well, let me tell you, these guys here, Alpine, they are involved in basically every single industry that you could believe in where your ears get a battering. Um, so take MotoGP, for example. A lot of the people you see wandering around in MotoGP, like around the paddock, around the noisy bikes, etc., they wear these. Alpine are huge in the music industry. They're huge in the construction industry. They're huge everywhere where your ears get a good digging. And now, here is the 2022 range for motorcycles. And there are, we have four options here for you. First of all, we have the Tour. So this is the Tour version. Can you guess what that is used for? And then we have this one here. And I'm not gonna give any marks for this because it's bloody obvious, but this is the race version and they are different. Then we have here, this is the MotoGP version, which comes in a nice little MotoGP bag. The color of the actual ear products are slightly different to differentiate themselves, and you get a MotoGP lanyard. And then you have what I would say would be my pack, where I'd have some of these, which is the MotoSafe Pro. That comes with both the Tour and the race inside, including an applicator, which we will get to later and I will absolutely not promise that I will show you because I may or may not have cleaned my ears recently. But anyway, tell you what, let's have a look inside here first, shall we? Because it has basically the full shebang here. Let's crack on then and open this up, shall we? Um, okay, it's only a very little box and it comes with a, one second, oh, we have a spillage, a spillage of plugs, which I'll get to in just a, moment right opening up we have a nice little kind of plastic thing which holds everything here is your case to carry everything in and here is your applicator and we will get to that a little later but the plugs go in now we said the pro comes with both versions so you have these ones here you see those with the black ends they are the touring ones and then if we see these here with the red ends or red pulley bits, that's what you, what you use to remove it from your ear. Uh, they are the race ones. And then, just to complete things, is this, which is a little cleaning solution. And, um, well, everyone's ears can get a bit mucky, can't they? So that is quite a nice touch. And that, apart from some destructions, is that. Kick things off with a slightly misleadingly named tour. And I say slightly because you think tour, oh, that's just for touring. Well, uh, tour in a more of a general sense, really, in that these particular ones have been designed to hit frequencies that are most hit most of the time. And the fact of the matter is, most of that is just riding around gently, having fun, or going around town, or popping down the seaside, or indeed doing a little bit of motorway work, or a bit of riding through, the country and these can attenuate or reduce up to 23 decibels worth of wind noise and that is actually quite a lot and if you know how this kind of thing works if you go one decibel two decibels two decibels isn't one more decibel than that it kind of builds exponentially it's all weird and maths and i don't get it but i kind of get it roughly anyway and that's what these ones are mostly for and then we move on to the race. And these ones here can actually get rid of up to 26 decibels. Now, interestingly, that's because 
The race thing, again, it's not misleading per se because it's not just about wind noise when you're talking about race or being on the track. You've got all sorts of other harmonics and vibrations and stuff which generates noise, a different kind of noise. So you need to actually reduce more of that because you're gonna be tucked in, you're not gonna get as much wind blast, but you're gonna get everything else as well as the wind blast just cutting by helmets. So they need to be more effective. And a lot of how they are effective is actually to do with the construction of these units in the first place. So what are they made out of? They are made out of a material called Alpine Thermo Shape material. Now, this is important, believe it or not, um, because there is no silicon in these little things here. Now, what's the big whoop about that, you say? Well, what this means is this material here, when it's right next to your skin, will not bring on sweating, itching, or kind of irritation, and you can wear them basically all day long without that happening. A lot of people out there have probably tried so many different earplugs, included the molded ones that I can wear for about a half an hour before my ears start hurting, even though they're perfectly shaped. Um, and other ones can kind of irritate sometimes if you've had them on for a long time and they get dirty and it's just not great. Whereas this kind of proprietary material they have come up with is wonderful and not just that it is so soft and the edges are also really soft so just in case you have weenie ears where these stick out so this bit here sticks out even if your helmet's on it it won't change the orientation in your ear because this will just bend so you won't actually have you won't put your helmet on oh god yeah see this is another thing that used to annoy me about earplugs i'm sure a lot of you go uh-huh when you hear this you put your earplugs in you think right i've got them right you pop your helmet on and one goes and comes out right annoying not with these ones and that's all because of this really super soft material and again the no silicon thing is a bigger deal than you might give it credit for. But I hear you all say I like to listen to stuff in my helmet while I'm going along and will this not, you know, curb my enjoyment of listening to things? Well, haha, no. And that's because these have been designed specifically to cancel out wind noise, those, those, those exact frequencies. And what you would actually find happening or what actually a couple of people have found here, and I was talking to them uh, the other day, about these and they found that actually they can hear phone calls music and instructions clearer with these in than with them out why is that well it's all to do with brain power because your brain is constantly working and figuring things out and mostly filling in the gaps it's one thing we don't know a lot of us don't really realize about our brains when it comes to sound and vision your eyes and ears don't always give you all the information you want so actually what happens is your brain fills it in. That's why sometimes you can be riding somewhere and you think you see something, you get a bit closer and go, oh, it's not that at all. And that's because your brain's gone, oh, I think this is this, and it ain't. And it's the, same, it's the same with hearing. So if you can reduce over 20 decibels of wind noise, your brain is having an easier time of basically sorting out what is wind noise and someone trying to remind you to pick up some milk. Okay, now picking up milk, as we all know, is extremely important in this world and forgetting is a very bad thing and you shouldn't do it. And these will help with that. And that is not bad. And not only that, it taxes your brain less. Is there anything these can't do? Behold, the applicator. Okay, which is basically an applicator. I tried to make sound a bit fancier. Now these things are actually pretty handy. If you, are, if you have um, ears as unfortunate as mine, like these big radar dishes, um, or you are particularly deep of ear, then something like this actually works quite nicely. So you pop it on like that, and then you proceed to insert in your ear and you can kind of screw it in gently a little bit or move it about and try and get that perfect fit. Because I don't know about you when it comes to, the, the big no-no for me when it comes to earplugs is when they don't feel the same. And with something like this, being able to essentially precision insertion, which sounds like really careful intercourse, but when we're talking about ears um, and you can actually do it really nicely and I, I have worn these a bit and I've got to say and I've tried being a bike journal I've tried every earplug under the sun I don't wear them that often uh, but when I do they've usually been ones that I've kind of put up with and I've already ridden with these for a little while now and I'm a lot closer to putting up with these than others and it's mostly because of this um, just because I can get them in really 
perfectly. So it might seem like a bit of a joke thing, but the fact of the matter is, it isn't. And if you are as sensitive as I am, a special flower like me, then one of these things, when it comes to earplugs, could do you really well. So what else is there to tell you about these motorcycling earplugs from the Red Dot Award winning company that created them? And if anyone wants to know what the Red Dot Reward is, well, Google, you lazy bugger, is all I can say. No, trust me, the Red Dot Award is, is a reasonably prestigious thing. And um, this company, which is based in Netherlands, which coincidentally is one of the leading countries in the world when it comes to audible and hearing and, and that kind of stuff, they've won it, which means that their product gets to go on display within some museum somewhere. But the point is this award is not thrown around willy nilly, like some awards we might, we might say, it isn't at all. Um, it's hard earned. And you know, you have people like Audi and BMW and huge global companies that have won this award before. So for Alpine to win that is something really special. It means their products aren't so that's an important thing. Um, another important thing I think worth mentioning is, and it's a little bit of a tip, okay? Um, when it comes to choosing these, if you happen to be a rider who spends a lot of time on motorways at you know reasonable kind of speeds, then I would suggest going for the race because it has the decibel level is higher of what it reduces and that will help you longer. And don't forget, if you don't have any earplugs at all, like stupid here a lot of the time, um, seven minutes at 98 decibels and your hearing is permanently affected forever. So seven minutes folks, and then things start to go away. So keep that in mind. But what doesn't go away with these, uh, which is also worth mentioning, you know I touched upon communications and stuff, is you can still hear everything around you. This is the thing, you can still hear bikes coming up behind you, traffic, people beeping, birds tweeting, the sun rising. You can hear what you need to hear because this is, again, just to really hammer this home, these are designed mostly for wind, noise, and harmful kind of harmonics and vibrations that might come from the bike. But wind is the big one, okay? So it cancels that out and leaves everything else audible, which is, uh, I mean, I hate to be impressed with a product like this. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's kind of looking at it like that, it's almost nothing, right? But actually, there is so much work that went into this that really I should probably give them their due and actually use them a bit more because 50's around the corner. I already can barely hear whatever Chris is saying half the time. Most of it's not interesting to be fair, but you know. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give these a go and try and save myself from going, what? when I get a lot older. Now then, if any of this has piqued your interest, then there's only one place to go to find out more, which is bikerheads.co.uk. I said UK!